Good afternoon, everybody. How are you all? Today, we are going to talk about an application of logistic differential equation. Okay, so we will solve this logistic differential equation. I'll share my screen with you. Sure. So solve the logistic differential equation dy over pc is equal to 4y divided by 5 minus y square over 150. So all logistic differential equations are of the form. Okay. Let's give you the standard form of logistic differential equation. So Solution, standard form of logistic differential equation, logistic differential equation is given as dy, dy over dt is equal to k times y minus 1 minus y over L. So I have to reduce the given equation of this to this form. dy by dt. So I will take <laughs> I will take uh, in my given equation, which is 4y by 5 minus y square by 150. I have to manipulate the right-hand side of the equal to sign so that it is of the form ky times 1 minus l. So I can write dy by dt is equal to, I will take y first out, and then I will get 4 over 5 minus y square by 150. Uh, sorry, just y over 150. Okay, I have taken y out. Now I have to make the, the first term inside the parenthesis on the right-hand side as 1. In order to do that, I have to take out 5 over 4. Or sorry, I'll take 4 over 5 outside. So I have taken 4 over out 5 or 4 fifth outside. When I do that outside the uh, parenthesis, the first term is 1 minus y divided by 150 multiplied by 5 over 4. Why is that, you ask? Because 4 fifths multiplied by 5 times 4, or 5 divided by 4, 4 out of 5, 4 divided by 5, multiplied by 5, divided by 4 is 1. That's why I multiply the second term by 5 over 4, which assumes that I have taken 4 over 5 out from the second term also. So dy by dt is equal to then y or 4 fifths y times 1 minus 5 goes into 150, 30 times. So y times 4 times 30. So this 5 goes into 150, 30, and 4 times 30 is 120. So this is my logistic equation. So let me create some space for myself. Maybe not so much. There, okay. So now if I compare, okay, my k in this equation, comparing with, compare with dy by dt is equal to ky times 1 minus y over l. My k is the term with which y is multiplied on the right-hand side is equal to 4 fifths, is equal to 0 0.8. And my L is equal to 
120. Okay. Now I'll create some space for myself. So the solution for this logistic differential equation is of the form y is equal to L divided by 1 plus B e to the power of minus kt. B and k are constant. Now we have been given the value of y at t is equal to 0. So we can write this as y 0. I'm substituting t equal to 0. L plus 1 plus b and e to the power of minus 0 which will be L divided by 1 plus B. Now, at T is equal to 0, this is given equal to 8. Okay? L is also known as 120. So, if I get some more space, I can write. I have already shown it. L is 120. Okay? So, create some more space. Okay. So now I have L over 1 plus B is equal to 8. Now L is 120. So 120 divided by 1 plus B is equal to 8. Now divide by 8 on both sides. You get 120 divided by 8 times 1 plus B is equal to 8 over 8 because you're dividing by 8 on both sides, which is equal to 1. Now, 120 divided by 8 is 15 over 1 plus b is equal to 1. That means if I multiply by 1 plus b on both sides, I get 15 equal to 1 plus b, from which I subtract 1 on both sides to get b is equal to 14. Okay? So B is equal to 14. Now let's go back to the original solution. So, okay. So <clears throat> let's uh, move up a little bit in space. So, y, if I write here, y is equal to L, which is uh, 120 over 1 plus B is 14, e to the power of minus k, k is uh, minus 0 0.8 times t. That is my solution to the equation that has been given. Okay. The logistic difference in the equation. Now, suppose I want to find out what is y at t equal to 5. And that is equal to 120 1 plus 14 e to the power of minus 0 0.8 times 5. Or is equal to 120 divided by 1 plus 14 e to the power of uh, minus 0 0.8 times 5 is e to the power of minus 4. Or it is 120 divided by 1 plus 14 e to the power of minus 4 is divided by, when we go to the denominator, the exponent becomes positive. So let's use your calculator to find that out. So this will be 14 divided by then second EX. Okay, second EX means second LN button. And then E exponent is 4. So 14 divided by E to the power of 4. Remember E is the natural number 2.71828. And that is equal to 0 0.2, 0 0.256. So we can write here, this is 120 
divided by 1 plus 0 0.256. Hence, y at time 5 is equal to 120 divided by, it is 120 divided by 1.256, which is 120 divided by 1.256 is 95.54. 95.54. So that is the value of y at t equal to 595.54. So I will stop here today. If you have any question, comment, please uh, write me a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please give me a WhatsApp. I mean, thumbs up. Please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Please give me a thumbs up. And if you like my video, please let your friends know about it so that you and your friends can subscribe by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. Thanks for watching. I appreciate that. I'll see you next time when I'll come back with another problem and an interesting solution. Take care. Have a nice day.